You're bumping Ronald off the 15th floor. Okay, what is the problem? It's about this promotional jar of cleansing cream. I think it should go over here, but Roger says it should go over there. I don't know why. Oh, for crying out loud. Just put this over there. Do I have to do everything around here? I mean, any idiot can see that the perfect place for that jar is right there. <laughs> what the hell was that? It's a man. Oh, my God, are you all right? Well, I don't know. I feel so clean. Get out of there. Denise? You know him? Well, well, yes. I mean, he, he's the parachutist I hired to land in the plaza tomorrow during the ceremony. That's not until tomorrow. You're fired. Denise? Miss Sandler, do you please? Ronald, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead, remember? Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> Denise, this is truly amazing. First, I survived Everest. Now this. Yes. What does it take to kill you? <laughs> Indeed. Get out of here now. Before you recognize him. Yes, yes. Boy, what a lucky guy. Just think if... My God, there's somebody on that ledge. It looks like Roger. <gasps> You're right. Quick, move this jar! <laughs> Eric's gonna be here any minute. I hope I have the courage to tell him what I need to say. <laughs> Listen to me. Always talking about my problems. As if you don't have plenty of your own. <laughs> Hello, Jen. I hope I'm not interrupting your chat with that simian. <laughs> His name's Yo-Yo. You think it's strange, don't you, talking to an animal? Jen, please, I'm engaged to your sister. <laughs> That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Forget about it. You look so lovely. May I? Eric, I've made a decision, and if I let you hold me, I won't be able to think straight. That's the idea. <laughs> this is embarrassing, but ever since my husband's death, I, I haven't, you know... Had your crops dusted? Exactly. Please, Jen, let me be the one. Oh, Eric, just the thought of touching you drives me crazy. Don't touch me. Jen, I understand and respect your wishes. But can you imagine how wonderful it would be if we actually... Yes, I can. I imagine it would be glorious. I want you, Eric. I want you. That's why we have to stop seeing each other. Yes, of course. What was I thinking? Just that I've made up my mind, and if I can't have all of you, I don't want any. Not even... No. We can never touch each other again with our hot, moist hands. Seeing only our naked, sweaty bodies joined together in lustful bliss. You're killing me here. So, Eric, we have a deal? Who are we kidding? I want you here, I want you now. I told you we can't. I'm telling you we must. And I'm telling you... Yes. yesterday. Where have you been? On my knees before the altar. <laughs> Denise, I committed a mortal sin. I killed a man. 
Now I'm going to burn forever in the infernal fires of hell. Oh, lighten up. <laughs> Ronald isn't dead. He isn't? Oh, thank you, thank you. My prayers have been answered. Oh, do I still get my $50,000? I did too. I pushed him off the building. He fell 15 floors. How the hell could he survive? Because you push like a girl. <laughs> Your one o'clock interview is here. Oh, good. Send him right in. Interview? For what? An assassin to kill Ronald. Since you are so obviously not up to the task, I'm hiring a professional. Oh, so you're going to give my 50 grand to some muscle-bound, bent-nosed thug from New Jersey? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> a hip man? What does he do? Bore them to death? Stick around, Roger. You might learn something. <laughs> Although we have to admit that you don't exactly fit the image of a... Cold-blooded killer? <laughs> That's okay. I've heard it before. But let me assure you, size isn't everything. Oh, oh please. please. this job my results speak for themselves or they would if they could <laughs> so you've been at this a long time oh yes I started out wanting to be a painter but dad said I should have a skill to fall back on so I worked my way through college as a part-time hitman and before you know it I was making a killing <laughs> don't get me started <laughs> Denise, you're wasting your time. This little nebbish couldn't snuff out a candle. Sir, I completely understand your concern, but if I may kindly point out, muscles are vastly overrated. <laughs> oh, I love that sound. You're hired. By the way, is he dead? Nah, I just fainted. It happens. Denise, you've bungled the preparations for... Good heavens, what's Roger doing on the floor? Honey, that's a don't ask. <laughs> I gotta run. Denny's about this commemorative ceremony. There are too many people on the dais. But Mother, it's just you and me. Exactly. <laughs> Mrs. Sandler, here's the new draft of the quarterly report you wrote. New draft? Where did my draft go? I don't know. Where exactly do things go after you flush? <laughs> Nice job. I beg your pardon? Well, what about our deal? You were supposed to keep her distracted. Oh, now just settle down. I'm getting ready to take your mother to a nice romantic lunch. I get back here, you're going to see a new mom. Well, none of this would be happening if you had kept her in the bedroom like you promised. I thought you were such a stud. Well, I am. But even secretary got a little time off to stroll around the paddock and drop a few road apples. <laughs> I certainly hope I'm not being too immodest in thinking that there are millions of women who are fashioning themselves after me as a pattern of beauty and grace. I've always believed I am my own best advertising. <laughs> and now we celebrate the 50 millionth jar of my fabulous cleansing cream. I think we've... I hope there are no regrets out. about what happened between us back at the lab. I'd like to do a slow dance with you wearing nothing but that cream. Guess that answers that. And now, I have a special announcement to make. As you know, I have built this company from the ground up. But I couldn't have done it without the help of you here today. Especially my daughter, Denise. She reminds me of myself at her age, without, of course, my sense of style, or, of course, my cheekbones. <laughs> and you'll know her ankles are much thicker. <laughs> but now, to my announcement. Although I am going to step down as chairperson, I have decided it is time to name a new president. Ladies and gentlemen, the future of Charlotte Sandler Cosmetics, your new president, Mr. Harlan Shell. Mother, how could you? 
could you? I can do anything, dear. I'm the cheese. <laughs> but making Harlan president? Oh, Denise, I don't think you recognize what Harlan can bring to my company. Besides flies? <laughs> He's a man of elegance, worldly experience, and impeccable taste. Anybody got any antacid? My breakfast burritos were beating on me like a Tommy gun. <laughs> you're worrying unnecessarily, Denise. Harlan is president, but you'll stay on as vice president. You'll still keep your car and your expense accounts and your key to the executive washroom. Of course. How is she going to get in there to snake the drain? <laughs> Already the office is livelier. <laughs> Well, enjoy your first day as president, because it may be your last. Oh, I doubt it. You know, you're in over your head. Without me, you'll fall flat on your face. What the hell do you know about cosmetics? Well, not much. In fact, I don't know a beauty mark from a canker sore. <laughs> we'll see how far you get when I kiss this company goodbye. Well, good luck. You're also going to be kissing off your house, your car, and a whole shooting match. Listen, this is a family business, and the family pays my expenses. Well, then I suggest you don't give your new daddy any guff. Or he's going to cut off your allowance. Well, maybe Daddy would like me to sit on his lap. <laughs> nice try, baby. But why mess with hamburger when you already got the steak? see you again. Why'd you come back? Because I forgot to say something, Dad. Just give me a chance, will you? The truth is, I didn't know I had a son until your mom had been married to that Ronald guy for a couple of years. So why'd you leave? I didn't want to. Your mom and I were in love. You understand? She was... God, never thought I'd use this word again in my whole life. Well, let me help. Uh, despicable, rotten, satanic. No. Lovely. Lovely is the word. If I had a hog, it was lovely. Your bike was never lovely. No, but my hog was. And when she got on the back of my bike, she made it lovely, too. Then out of nowhere, your mom decides never to see me again and won't even tell me face to face. She had your grandma do the hatchet job. Did she give you a reason? No. We were crazy about each other. She's still the best thing that ever happened in my life. Are we talking about the same woman? By the time I found out about you, she was married. She told me you thought Ronald was your father. Oh, please. Ronald's the only one that bought that. She was six months pregnant when she met him. She told him it was just a little gas. I just want you to know. I stayed away because they told me it was best for you. But now that I see what a terrific kid your mom and me made. Well, I'm sorry, David. I really am. So now... What do you want to do? <laughs> yep. You're my son, all right. Wanted to see the merchandise? Please, don't refer to my dear departed husband as merchandise. It's disrespectful. He is dead meat, isn't he? See for yourself. Oh, God. He looks so... Chinese. Sorry. Wrong stiff. Okay, I think this one's yours. Yep, that's him. Never seen such soft skin. You killed two people today? Hey, the key to this business is volume, volume, volume. God, he looks so... Dead? No, surprised. He looks 
surprised. You'd be amazed at how few people are expecting to be shot through the heart. I want a moment alone with him, please. Most of them do. Buyer's remorse, you might say. But could you hurry? I got a kneecapping in 20 minutes. Well, Ronnie, this is finally it. When I pushed you off Everest, there was no body, but now this is real. You were a decent and gentle man, and believe it or not, I was fond of you. You know, we might have made it, but we came from completely different backgrounds, and we had totally different values. And Oh, yes, you were incredibly stupid. <laughs> but you know what killed you? You loved me too much. And whether you believe this or not, Ronnie, I'm going to miss you. So, um... Oh, God, I'm making a fool out of myself, aren't I? No, Jen, you're not. This is all so new to me. I don't know what's too much, what's not enough. All I know is that for the first time in my life, I have feelings now, thoughts now, <sighs> ideas now. And I thought, well, I was just hoping it was okay. Jen, you're a sweet, decent person. Of course it's okay. Good. I'm wearing edible underwear. <laughs> oh. came by to surprise you with a little love bobble. Oh, Jen, it's so good to be near you. I love the smell of your hair, your clothes, your aftershave. George, can you do this tomorrow? Oh, no, no, this is so much better. I want to see the look on your face when you open it. Well, you'll tell me the look on your face. I, I wanted to get you a, a ring, but I knew you'd feel rushed. So I got you a pin instead with an inscription on the back that says what's in my heart. <laughs> this isn't a pin, is it? No, George, it's a pen. Is there an inscription? It says BM. <laughs> I paid for be mine. Oh, Jen. Just as it's time for Caroline to have a new father in her life, it's time for you to have a new man in yours. My God, you must be bursting with pent-up passions. Spend them on me here now. Uh-huh. I knew that tongue spoke more than one language. What are you doing here? I was just leaving. Oh, George, are you okay? Oh, how could I have been so blind? Oh. George, please listen to me. What for? So you can lead me on again? Have you all had a good laugh behind my back? No, George. You know I care for you, and, and you're such a good friend. Oh, please. The worst of insults. But I, I don't love you. If I could have chosen a man to love, it might very well have been you, but love doesn't make any sense. Stand back, Jen. I have such frustration and rage in me, I cannot be responsible for what I might do. Take this, cold, cruel world. <laughs> and that. I can how about this? No more Mr. George the Worm Boy. 
No more Mr. Big Stupid Nice Guy! No, George, please let me explain! Explain what? That you don't love me? That I was a fool to think I even had a chance? That... Where the hell is everything? Aha! Put that on my bill! What a view. <laughs> and no one to share it with. Oh, hell. If you're born alone, you die alone. It's just in between. I thought there'd be company. <laughs> well, here goes. <laughs> Who's there? Go away. No, wait, please. Are you still there? If you are, tell them I wasn't crazy. You tell them. It would have taken so little. A sweet smile, a gentle... Oh, don't bet on it. Denise isn't one to lay down. No. Oh. Hey, aren't you happy for Jen and Eric? Yeah, I'm so sad for George. Oh, wouldn't you know, the one person who can talk about a suicide is a mute. Do you think Caroline will talk? I don't know. Too bad we have to wait till next week to find out.